Welcome back to another episode of Fearless Fisherman Owns Cops. Today, we're diving into more incredible encounters where fishermen stand their ground against authority. Let's get into it. First up, we're at Little Sugar Creek, where a regular fishing day turns into a showdown. A security guard confronts our fisherman, claiming fishing is prohibited. But our fisherman knows better. He confidently asserts his right to fish in public waters, even as the guard threatens to call the park rangers. Security walking out. There is no fishing here. What? Uh, fishing. You can't fish. You can't fish in this thing. I would fish. You can't fish in here? No. Are you being serious? Yeah. Yep. Because yep. I had last this, this past summer, I had two people that were fishing, and I asked the park ranger. Like yeah, I, I tell you what, man, I'm not going to argue you're dead wrong. That's you're, you're dead wrong about that. This is Little Sugar Creek, and you can fish anywhere in here. It's publicly accessible. That's okay. why I left. That's okay. no, that's okay. That's why I left my GoPro on when you walked up, and I saw you coming up. Yeah, I can ask. I can ask. You don't have to ask anybody. I'm not going to argue. You're dead ass wrong. You're dead ass wrong. This is Little Sugar Creek, and I'm surprised you'd say that. I know. It's okay, man. I mean, it's Sunday morning. I'm here fishing. This is Little Sugar Creek. You're so absolutely wrong. The situation heats up, but our fisherman doesn't back down, challenging their claims with solid knowledge of local laws. You mind if I get your name? I just told you I asked the park ranger. You mind if I get your name? Yeah. You're not a park ranger. You have zero jurisdiction against the rivers. I can't believe you're saying this. I work for the... I am employed for the county of Mecklenburg County. The park rangers... The park rangers, I am You the work for Allied Special. Police. I'm not gonna argue. I'm Thank you. Argue. You were professional, my friend. You're you're absolutely wrong. Dude, Dude if, if you are here, I take your ass to jail. If you wanna argue with me about this and I just told you I will ask the park ranger for you, then I was busy. You don't have to ask the park ranger and you just said you'd take my ass to jail. Dude. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna argue with you. You telling me I'm being dis I'm being disrespectful to you when I just told you you're, I would ask a park ranger for you? You need to lower your voice to me. No, no, you need to start talking to me. Now you be there, you just being disrespectful to me. No, I'm not. You Listen, you have zero you. jurisdiction. You're not even an arresting officer. Yes, we are, sir. Sir, we do, are, sir. sir, do you see that? Police. Yeah. Do you see that? I have jurisdiction. To, ju on this to arrest somebody for fishing right here. Yes, yes, Can I get your guys' names before I go? Sir, Officer Crossing. Carlson? Crossing. Rivera. Rivera? Thanks, Rivera. Next, we head to Florida, where a fisherman exercises his Second Amendment rights in a public park. Law enforcement approaches curious and cautious. The fisherman, hands raised, calmly handles the situation, asserting his legal right to open carry while fishing. What's up, bud? Huh? My, my hands are up. My hands are up. Turn the phone off. Okay, that you know uh, I'm allowed to record. All right, guys. So I'm I'm being told by law enforcement to tone turn my phone off. So okay, well I, I'm gonna pass the phone to him. There you go, man. How are you, man? I'm good. I am out here fishing. I I have ID, but have I committed a crime? Okay, it's okay. Well, um, I'm out here fishing. If I'm not mistaken, uh, what is it under Florida Statute 790.25, Section 3, Subsection H? I'm allowed to do this. And we're allowed to identify it. Uh, if I'm committing a crime. You got a license? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, I'd rather you grab it. It's in my pocket. Uh, this one. Which one? Th this one right here. Yeah, you see that, like, rectangle? The officers, initially on edge, recognize his lawful actions and commend his exercise of rights. It's, it's in there. Okay. Can I just take this as your license for now? Make uh, it valid? Yeah, that's, that's fine. Can I, am I, do I gotta keep my hands up still? You said, yeah, keep my hands up still? Yeah, I would. 
okay with that. Now, you good with that? Yeah. I have no ill will, just so you know. It's just kind of tiring keeping my hands up like that. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll go like this. That, that feels a lot better than having them up in the air. Where are you from? If you don't from, me from here. Huh? No, from Florida. Okay. Catch anything? We literally just got here. Okay. Yeah, we, we just got here. Uh, I grabbed my stuff, grabbed some bait, and we was about to start casting out, and then I looked behind me, and you guys are all here. You understand how you can bring people out? I, I understand, but if if exercising my rights freaks people out, that's not really my problem. You know, it's... Have you been here in fish before? Huh? Have you been here in fish before? No, this is my first time at this spot here. Who are they? Are they friends, family? They're their family. You got any guns on you? No, the only, per the only person carrying here is me. That we can see? Yeah, yeah. What's that? you recording device, does it do like active GPS location? That's, so when I walked up and I told you to turn it off, there are some apps out there mm -hmm. that when you decide to record, it'll scan out to a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. you're, on, you're in a police encounter and it gets GPS location. I don't well, want to, so that's why I was asking you to turn Well, my, my, my viewers, they, they know where I'm at, so, you know. So that's my same point. Okay. I'm trying to reason with you and tell you why I did what I'm doing. Yeah, I just, I just record because this is my First Amendment right. Same way I'm actually, you know, you can't exercise one if you don't exercise all, right? So, that's why I was telling you to put it down. Okay. Because some people do turn that stuff on in the GPS location to get a crowd there to make it more of a problem. Oh uh, no, we're not. We're not looking for no problem. Just public, just public education. I'm not saying that. Because, because right, right, right now, I'm out here exercising my rights. You got guys with, with rifles, at at a slant, but still kind of aimed in my direction. You're you're making people think that what I'm doing is illegal and making me look like a criminal when I'm not. It. I, I think it's it's just a little excessive. What's excessive is doing. What no, dude, but this is this is this is the rights of the people, right? You swore to protect this. The same way you swore to protect my right to film. And the first thing you asked me was turn off my camera. Because I just equate you. Yeah, I, I, I get what I get what you were trying to say, but in the end of the day, it's still my right. Shouldn't have even asked. Our third story from the Armed Fisherman Channel takes us to Madeira Beach, Florida. Here, Michael Taylor, armed for a fishing trip, draws the attention of Sergeant Panica. Despite Florida's complex firearm laws, Taylor is legally carrying under specific statutes. However, he's detained by deputies, leading to a tense 20-minute standoff. Hey, man, what's that? Uh, a fishing pole. Uh, my AR pistol and my, my handgun. Alright, put your hands up for me, bro. Why are you carrying around that? Because I was just fishing. With a gun? Yes, sir. I was, in Florida, we can do this. Yeah, I'm letting you know, I'm, I'm trying to let you know, while you're engaged in fishing, hunting, and camping, you can do this. Alright, you got any more guns on you? No, sir. No right. more, there's no more knives, no more guns, right, no more... I can't stand up. Ready? Hold on. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Ah! Oh, come on, man. I ain't got no fish on me. Can you guys look up Florida Statute 790.25, Section 3, Subsection H, please? All right, I'm going to get all those crap on Well, you've got handcuffs on me, and once again, if you look up the statute... All right, will you stop for a minute? you have an ID on you? Uh, no, I, uh, maybe. I don't know. Well, where would it be? I don't consent to any of it. What you're what crime did I commit? Uh, open carry in Florida is not... Unless you're engaged in fishing, hunting, or camping. That's not a crime. To, to possess a firearm is not right, a crime. Well, listen, do you understand that when I'm, I'm pulling into a parking lot, I see somebody with what looks like... Look, an man, I was, all, like I was actually on my way home until you decided to come out and point guns at me. All right, well, I want to go home today, too. I don't want to get shot. I, I wasn't listen, pointing listen, guns listen, at you. Listen, listen, listen. We understand the statute. I know you are in your right... Listen, I... Listen. Right, listen to him. I understand what you're saying. However, think about where you are right now. You know, listen, you know well that statute's more for rural Florida. Am I right or am I wrong? You're wrong. I'm wrong? Because I don't so fish I don't fish out in the woods, okay. dude. I, 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 I fish on the rivers in the in the friggin' okay, ocean. Listen, listen to me. Look at where you are right now. Where are you at? 
I am friggin' in John's pass, right? Absolutely, one hundred percent. You have to think about where you're at when you're doing that stuff. Am I right? No. Okay. I, I just need to know right, the law. I thought you were gonna be logical. But I, I am. I just I just need to know the law. Can I call my lawyer, please? Whatever you want. A second, man. Hold on. Is this your rod? Yes, sir. Like all the stuff that you. Where's your car at? Where's your car at? My car is somewhere around here, and at this point, I'm about to go back fishing because I am doing something lawful. And if you guys are going to treat me like this, I'm just going to go back to fishing. So, uh, like, we can. Right, well, I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure this out with with reason for you guys, but you guys are treating me like I'm a criminal, like I've well, done something wrong. I don't even wrong. know who you are yet. You don't, need, you don't right need, need to know who I am. I'm just a law-abiding citizen that's done nothing Listen. wrong. Taylor's calm demeanor and a call to his attorney resulted in his release, highlighting the importance of understanding and asserting one's legal rights in such situations. And uh, your name, sir? Sergeant Panicci. And uh, your badge or payroll number? 639. Thank you very much. You know we have payroll numbers. You guys have done this a few times? They just told me. Oh, okay. Okay, where's your car parked? Uh, somewhere close. Okay. I'm, I'm letting you know, all you have to do, because, because I don't, like, I, I'm, don't, I really don't trust you guys. I just want my, my belongings back. If we need to set them on the ground over here, on the dirt, whatever you gotta do. And I will go about my day until I feel comfortable you're not gonna harass me after the fact. We're not gonna harass you after the fact. Um. So listen, here's what, here's what. I would like to do. Okay. I want to make sure that we do this safely. Right. You have two guns over there. Uh-huh. Okay. I'm going to give them back to you. Okay. I would prefer to give them back to you unloaded because I would really hate for me or one of our, our guys here to get shot. My goal my goal is not to harm anybody here. Okay. Well, I met you five minutes ago. Okay. I don't know that. Uh, this is my lawyer, like I said. Yeah, what I what did he respond? Called. He did. That was the sheriff that just called me. Perfect. All right. Instead of uh, you guys talking to me about this, let's just go ahead and wherever you feel comfortable by the bathrooms, right over here in the dirt, wherever you feel comfortable about leaving my belongings, I would like my belongings and I'd like to go about my day. Please. That's fine. Like I said, I just Please. want to hand it back to you unloaded. Whatever you got to do, because I'll, I'll do whatever I got to do after the fact. I just want my belongings back so I can go about my day. Finally, courtesy of Marble Historian, we witness a group of kids turning fishing into a prank using a donut to bait cops. What starts as a playful act quickly spirals into a serious situation leading to an arrest. Watch how quickly the mood changes when the cop realizes his co-worker messed up. I had like 10 donuts before I came over here. Tell you what, man, a dog ate that first. Hey! What the fuck? Oh, yeah, you got that? Ooh, I got that, you got that bro, good. I got the bro, I got the bro. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Let me get all those badge numbers. Badge numbers names. Badge numbers names. Thank you, sir. Hey, don't touch me. Come on, man. I'm the insert. What am I getting arrested for? I think it's time for you to go. Oh! What's he? What's he getting arrested for? What's he getting arrested for? Keep in the peace. Back off. Please don't, Back off. Please don't touch me. He assaulted Lieutenant, you back off or you'll go to jail. I didn't, I recorded the whole thing. Where did he touch him? Where did he touch him? This incident raises questions about the fine line between humor and perceived threats, especially in interactions with law enforcement. What do you think of these encounters? Were the fishermen in the right or did they cross a line? Drop your comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. See you next time.